What people don't know about me is that I'm a machine when it comes to the courts. The tennis courts. It's unreal. <laughs> Kaka! It's tennis time! That was... Oh! oh. Machine on the courts. Thanks, Cote. You know, that means a lot coming from you. Thanks. Bye. Grosso, the 24 year old from the University of Kentucky, on her first professional contract after finishing college in America. So, after college, I never, I kind of always knew I wanted to go overseas right out of college. I never really planned to play in the NWSL, but um, I actually by chance met my agent over the phone the day before the draft, like through a mute, like she wasn't even representing me or anything. It was so by chance. So she sent my highlights out to coaches, I told everyone she was like, she's a diamond in the rough. Just give her a chance. Just give her a chance. Like you're gonna like regret it, blah, blah, blah. And then, City obviously like gave me that chance and yeah, here I am. Wilkinson scoops it back post, there it is! Julia Grosso at the back post with her first goal in the Liberty A League. Me and Carly are usually together all the time and on our days off, I usually wake up really early and Carly sleeps in until like 10. And I wake up and have my little dance party while Carly's sleeping, usually listening. No, I usually start the day off with like a dancing queen and I'm not even kidding. Like, you can drive, having the time of your life. I swear, I have a theory, like, if you just start your day with Dancing Queen, like, you can't have a bad day. You can't be in a bad mood, like, you just can't. And then we'll go and get coffee, and I get my matcha, because I don't like coffee, it's gross. And then we'll come home, and if the sun is out, like, Jules is out, like. But no, we'll go to the beach, we're very spontaneous girls, we really just see where the wind takes us, and, but I usually always do something on my day off. I, I'm not really the type to just sit around all day. Like at night, we'll usually sit, cook dinner together, um, watch Love Island, like stuff like that. But like I said, if the sun is out, I'm definitely doing something. And yeah, that's usually my days off. <laughs> mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Mix your matcha. Mix your matcha. <laughs> Bad uni, the best place on earth. Grosso, Wilkinson again, waiting in the middle, Polisina to Rihanna Polisina gets a deflection and it's in for Melbourne City and it was coming, the pressure was piling on the- Yeah, I'd say the hardest thing that I've had to go through in football is something that probably majority of players had to go through is the mental toughness that it takes to get not even just a high level, just to play in general. So I started playing football when I was seven years old and it was the type of thing for me that honestly, like from seven years old, I just like knew like this is what I'm supposed to do. Like I just felt it's so like crazy. I just felt this like passion and fire for the sport and it just never fizzled out. Like I just knew like this is my calling, this is what I'm supposed to do with my life. Like I never really had to sit down and like think, do I wanna do this? Like, do I wanna play in college? Like it was always like, I'm playing college, don't know where yet, but I'm playing. And then um, the first time I questioned that was my freshman year of college. I think it was a bit of <laughs> a transition that I, I knew it was gonna be hard, but I wasn't expecting like the mental piece of it. Um, maybe to a certain extent, because I've always had hard coaches and that's probably why I'm so mentally strong now, but I didn't expect <laughs> what I got. So that's been probably the hardest thing I've had to go through, being told for four and a half years almost that like you're not good enough or you're never gonna be good enough. And it was probably the biggest heartbreak I've ever had my freshman year. Like, I wasn't just thinking about transferring schools. I was like borderline quitting. Death stepped in. 
maintained and carried up by Grosso. Grosso! Oh! What a goal! There. It sounds crazy, but one day it was like a literal flip switched in my brain. Like a flip switched one random day. Like I woke up and I was like, no, like no. Like I'm never going to let somebody take my love away from the game. Like one person, two people, like no, this is my life. This is like my passion. And if I ever want to stop playing, it's going to be because of me and because I'm done. So I kept myself in a really positive space. I had this whiteboard right by my bed and I wrote down all my favorite quotes. So every morning when I woke up at 6 a.m. for Lyft, or gym, we'll call it Lyft here, uh, I would read all those quotes and I'd be like, mm hmm like yes. And I really like bought into it. But I also really focused on like getting fit, eating right, like doing everything that I could to like not give them a reason to take, like I was gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna control everything I can control. And that's all I can do. Every day I was on the field, I gave my all. Um, I didn't play for my coaches to tell me I had a good training. Like it didn't matter. If they yelled at me, it didn't matter. And if they like gave me recognition, it didn't matter. Like I kept it an even board because I can't only block out like the negative and then yeah, like all the positive. I was like, okay, it doesn't matter if they say I did good. It doesn't matter if I said bad, I'm gonna give the same effort every single day. And I fell back in love with the game, like harder than I ever did before. And honestly, that stuck with me till now. Like I still do those things. I really made those lifestyle changes and this I've stuck with it. By Roberts, one time shot into the back of the net. Honestly, like I can honestly say this because I know sometimes people say things because it sounds good, but honestly, like this has been a dream for me. I couldn't have asked for a better experience my first pro season. Like, I love playing for City. I'm proud to play here. And I do feel like it's opening a lot of doors for me, which is a reason why I did want to come here and why I was really excited about it. And in the future, like I said, I don't have limits for myself.